Good morning from the WRL Newsroom. I'm Michelle McConaughey. It's Wednesday, October 2nd. And for your weather today, morning clouds and potentially fog, then partly to mostly cloudy skies this afternoon with isolated showers possible. Highs in the mid-70s to lower 80s. And this morning, search and rescue teams in the western part of our state are working tirelessly to find hundreds of people who are still unaccounted for. Damaged roads are a problem, hindering crews from getting to people who need help. Right now, there are still over 300,000 customers without power in North Carolina. And later today, President Biden will visit North Carolina to tour areas that were damaged. The president will have a briefing with workers at the Emergency Operations Center, and from there he'll go to Asheville for an aerial tour of the damage. And President Biden approved a major disaster declaration for North Carolina over the weekend. Since then, people in 25 counties across the state are now eligible to apply for FEMA assistance. More counties could be added to the list as damage assessments continue. And Republican Lieutenant Governor Mark Robinson has been helping storm victims in western North Carolina. He's now facing criticism for some of his actions and inactions. We've learned that Robinson did not vote for Governor Cooper's request for emergency services last week. When we asked Robinson's office why he didn't vote, his chief of staff sent a statement that did not address the question. And for more news and weather, head to our website. That's WREL.com. Have a great Wednesday.